G'day, I'm Don Burke, and welcome to Burke's Backyard. Well, the, uh, the Indiana Jones makeover is pretty well finished. What do you think of it? No, I'm only joking. This actually isn't our Indiana Jones makeover, but isn't it the most incredible structure? But this particular structure is near Innisfail in far northern Queensland. In other words, getting up towards Cairns. And it was constructed by a Spanish gentleman by the name of Jose Paranella, and it's known as Paranella Park started building it oh, about 1929, finished it in 1938. And we'll be showing you a lot of the details of this incredible set of ruins, I suppose, through the program tonight. But also in tonight's program, yes, we are returning to our own Indiana Jones makeover. You'll be seeing that shortly, and it's turned out just wonderfully. Also, we're going to look at Wattles. This is the... This is the uh, suspension bridge at Paranella Park, and... Under my feet here, there's a vast waterfall flowing out down to the river and off to the valley below. Now, does this remind you of something? Yeah, time for the Indiana Jones makeover. Actually, at the end, it looks uh, pretty much like this, which is a real rainforest. And speaking of that, up here you've got a kadagi, which is a type of a gum tree, Eucalyptus terreliana. And on top of that, you'll see a lot of, well, you can probably hear them, a lot of noisy birds fluttering around some nests. Now they're actually one of the native species of starlings, metallic starlings. They tend to pick trees where they nest together in groups. Quite fascinating. Very few gum trees you will ever find, by the way, in a rainforest. It's a very rare thing. They tend to occur away from rainforest. Well, this is Burke's backyard and the theme tonight very much is that Indiana Jones Temple of Doom thing. Now, if you haven't been watching so far, we are at Paranella Park. It's this wonderful fantasy created by Jose Paranella, a Spanish gentleman. And you're just about to see one of the most incredible bits of this park, replete with the symbolism that is so typical of the Spanish people. We're now going into the Tunnel of Love. Isn't this incredible? He's actually tunneled right through an entire hillside and you notice there's some funny little bits like this cut into it and apparently the original idea is that there would be aquariums full of fish in here as you went through. It'd be quite an incredible trip through here and the whole idea is that it has a view of a small waterfall and little water feature at the far end. It's almost something like a gunning placement from one of the world wars up here somewhere there's, uh, there's bats. On, oh here we are on the roof now that funny little thing that looks like maybe a dirty bird's nest or something, that's a little huddle of bats. Look at them, there's dozens of them there all hiding together. I suppose some of you probably hate bats and your flesh is crawling, but these are smaller than mice and they live here all the time. Incredible, isn't it? But now back to, uh, to civilization and things much more, uh, well, acceptable. Jeff Jance is going to look at microwaves. How well do you use yours? Well, this is Burke's backyard and tonight we're at Paranella Park which is near Innisfail in far north Queensland. We're in the area where the main waterfall occurs. Have a look at that. Now, fantastic as that might look, this is just a minor bit of rain they've had lately. In fact, when they get good rains, I'd be probably several metres underwater where I'm standing. And for that reason, much of what was originally here has been washed away. It was originally diving boards and all sorts of things here, but over the years, the water has simply taken them downstream a bit. But it is incredible. That, of course, there on the stilt is the hydroelectric plant that they used to have. It doesn't work anymore, but all the guts are still in it. But now it's time for tonight's Celebrity Gardener. Now this man is one of our greatest world champions and yet many Australians have probably never heard of him. He's currently the world champion of all the billiard type games put together. That is of billiards, snooker and pool. And he holds an incredible number of both past and current world titles. He is of course, Eddie Charlton. Now what do you think of Hellebores? Lovely plants, aren't they? Well, I've got some fantastic news for you. This weekend, that is, Sunday the 7th of September 
there's actually a fantastic sale of hellebores occurring in Canberra. Now, it's at the Hall Markets, Gladstone Street, Hall Village, Canberra, between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Now, what did you think of Paranella Park? If you liked it, and I must admit, I think it's absolutely wonderful. You can come up here near Innisfail, in other words, an hour and a half drive from Cairns, to actually visit it. It's open every day of the year except Christmas Day, 9 till 5. So if you're in the area, this is a simple must come and see. Now, would you like more information on anything from tonight's show? Well, if you would, why not write in for a fact sheet? All you've got to do is mark on the back of your envelope the segment you're interested in and address it to Burke's Backyard, P.O. Box 929 Willoughby, New South Wales 2068. And don't forget to include a business size stamped self-addressed envelope. Now, some great stuff on next week's program. We will finally finish the Indiana Jones makeover, and boy, doesn't it look good. We're going to road test the Russian blue cat, and we're also going to look at why some people who are vegetarians look a little bit anemic and sometimes don't feel all that well. And the celebrity gardener is one of Australia's greatest sprinters ever, Raylene Boyle. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's show. See you all again next week. Hooray.